Before I begin, I just want to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers that I got lately. Thank you guys so much for coming on board and being on my team. I love you guys so much for watching. And as for all my OGs, you guys know that I love you. Thank you all so much for being subscribed. Hey you guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Leslie. like my intro because in the last video I didn't mention that I did a little intro I just kind of show you guys like my full profile and then we have like this little um these little trailer thingies that have that they come in and spray paint and I've always really liked them but one day I was out there and I was like you know what I am going to just get someone to film me and I just had on like a regular leggings like a Gymshark leggings with like this cheap forever 21 t-shirt but yeah today i'm gonna be doing this look for you i as promised in my last video if you haven't watched my favorites i will have a link i don't know if they st they still have those like every time i look at youtube youtube has some kind of new shit going on whereas it's like i i, I really don't know but i know they normally still have cards right so i can uh, add a card somewhere for you guys to watch my favorites video and see if you like any of the items that I did talk about in that video. So I will have that around here somewhere. <laughs> so if you want to see how I do this look, just keep watching. The last time I tried to pull this off, my camera didn't press film. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to moisturize my skin. You can use any moisturizer that you have. This one here is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And... I like using this stuff. This is not necessarily a moisturizer. I know people use this as a primer. I'm not sure which one it is, but I do use it before I put on my makeup. So after moisturizing my skin all over, I like to get this primer here. This one is by Makeup Forever. This is the Step One Primer. A lot of people ask me a lot of times, like, how do I keep my T-zone so matte throughout the day? Because I, I used to be like really oily in my T-zone and this is my secret. I don't put this all over my face just because I find that certain parts of my face needs less moisture in certain parts and some parts don't, if that makes sense, and that's my T-zone. The foundation that I'm going to be using today, this one is by, I think this is Too Faced. The, yeah, this is the Too Faced foundation and I have been loving this foundation so much. This and the NARS radiant foundation but this day I use the Too Faced just because I feel I felt like this one was more closer to my color my skin color as opposed to the NARS one because the NARS one was like really really dark and I'm starting to lose my tan but now it's getting a little lighter and this is the one that's closer plus I feel like sometimes this one oxidizes and throughout the day it did get a little darker so I appreciated that because I'm still in between that dark and like darker phase and I use my beauty blender to blend this out and I use very very little foundation on my forehead just because my forehead doesn't really take foundation well. Then I have these little cover FX. These are like the liquid, I don't know, the liquid droppers and I just put those on the high points of my cheekbone because I want my skin to look like skin. I want it to look very dewy and I find that when I do use the dropper underneath when I do put my highlight on I don't have to use a lot of highlight and it still looks like I'm glowing from within. It's looked like I have naturally glowy skin and I use very little highlight. So that's what I was going for. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte one. I like using the Tarte concealers just because they give me the most coverage as opposed to the other concealers. And I do very little foundation. So I realized something about my skin. My skin likes to breathe, but I still need coverage. So when I do this step, it's it's like a win-win situation for me. I use very little foundation and then for concealer, I cover my under eyes, which is like extremely dark. You guys know every video I talk about how dark my under eyes are. And if you have dark under eyes like I do, trust me, you would want to use a full coverage concealer like the Tarte one and sometimes I just build that up. And I've already prepared my setting powder. I went back to the Laura Mercier trans um, translucent setting powder just because I find that 
that one doesn't make me look ghostly in pictures that and the MAC one but I find that I've been using the MAC one way too much and I feel like my skin is getting used to it if that makes sense like my like the makeup is not it's not holding the makeup like it used to and I think my skin just needs a little break the same thing happened with the Laura Mercier powder at first when I first started using it and I used it so much and with the translucent powder I don't keep that underneath there long as you can see like I just set it and go because my skin takes product and hold on to it all right I do set under my knee I do set underneath my eyes with my translucent powder and then do cream I know some people don't do that but I just put it on places where I didn't put the powder I use a very very little foundation stick this one here is by Anastasia Beverly Hills I use very very little of this um, on my forehead and then I just press this into my um, the hollow parts of my cheek and the lower part of my chin to give me more of a chiseled look and that's what I'm doing right now I, I'm using this brush from Sephora this one here I think this you can get this brush I think this is like fifty sixty dollars you guys if you can find a brush something similar to this I find that this one works the best for me honestly but if I know that um, Morphe the same brush that I'm using right now Morphe makes this one if Morphe had made a bigger one like the one that I used earlier it for my contour I would so prefer you guys to get one of those as opposed to you know using a fifty sixty dollar brush but that brush is so amazing I love that so much and I have so many brushes you guys and I don't see any brush that works like that and I just use my beauty blender to just press that in to make it look a lot more natural to set that to set that contour I'm just using a little bit of this espresso I think that's the name of it um, from Anastasia Beverly Hills I went back to this powder and I'm in love with it I love how it works for my summer skin tone my summer tan I love how it's looking against my skin it's a lot more darker than my regular bronzer and has way less red but I still love it and I'm still I'm still obsessed with it and I use that all over my face my nose no matter where I'm using that all right I'm taking a little bit of this lying low this is or laying low I don't know if I'm saying it right this is a paint pot from Mac and I have oily lids so I use that instead of just using concealer like I used to and I find that my eyeshadow lasts a lot longer and it's it just it's better it's so much better than using the concealer and it doesn't leave like those fine lines throughout the day like I could I used to see my eyeshadow just kind of settling into the lines on my on my lid and it was so annoying and I for a long time I always wondered what I could do to help it and then I remembered there was a time ago that I used to use Langlo. I thought it was I thought I was like I thought I had something to do with my age. I was like, am I getting older and that's the reason why? And I just realized that I'm not using a really good paint pot or a good primer. And I'm just using this majestic palette from Makeup is it Makeup Shack? Yeah. This is by Makeup Shack and I'm taking the brown out of that palette. I've been obsessed with this palette. And that is the only eyeshadow I'm using all over my crease and in my lid. So that's the only one step that I do and I find that, that works for me. Next, I'm going to be taking, I think this is the Hyper Real Glow Palette. I will have all the information of all the products that I use in the description box down below. And also the link as where you can purchase them if you would like to look at the details and see if you like it for yourself. I will have all of those in the description box down below. And I'm just using, I know for some people, this is not a very little highlight, but for me it is. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit and putting it on my cheek first. And then taking it and just bringing it back so that when I smile, I can look like I'm glowing from, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but it looks like I'm glowing from within. And I thought that this was really, really cute. And I'm just using my beauty blender to just kind of press it in to make it look a lot more natural. <laughs> natural. Yes, I'm making it look a little bit more natural. And I'm taking this little brush that I have here that I always use to just put a little bit of highlight on my nose. If I'm not using my finger, I use this brush. And I use the brush when I like I want more pigmentation right so if I use my finger it's gonna blend right in but if I use the brush it's gonna look a lot more pigmented and for lip liner I'm using plum as you can see this is a very used lip liner I use this practically every day just because I like the combination that looks on my lip because my lips are really dark and it's just like a little bit brighter than my lips so it's really pretty and then for lipstick I started using this lipstick from lime crime 
and I really, really didn't like it, but then I decided to use like this here, and then I decided to use um, Dose of Colors, and I think it's Truffle, yeah, Dose of Color Truffle, and I just put it on top of that, and this is the combination that it looks like. Truffle by itself looks a lot more nude, but with that pink in on my lips already, it made it look kind of like this pinkish, nudish color. And then to finish it off, I used a little bit of this, I guess this blush palette from e.l.f. They don't have names, but I used that with my Beauty Blender just to press it in because I was going for more like a light, glowy skin. So that is what I did for this look. And lastly, I just used a little bit of this setting spray for Morphe, and that's it. I really hate the way my lips are looking right now. That's because I applied that other lipstick and then I decided to put this one on top. But this is the final look, you guys. This is how it's looking. I'm about to do something with my background very, very, very soon. I know my background is like really, really plain, so I'm gonna have like shelves in the back of me with a bunch of crap on it, you know, the whole candle with the YouTubers do and all that other crap. I'm gonna have all of that stuff behind me. I'm just trying to get my shit together, you guys. Just trying to get these videos pumped out for you guys while my creative, you know, flows is going, you know, while I have the time and while I'm like in the editing mode, like I need to get into that like mode, like just laying down and editing or being so productive with my time. So yeah, this is the final look. I did what you guys tried to recreate this look. And if you enjoyed watching, do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm just gonna let you guys know when I post my videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, my loves. Have a great day. Yes, itch, bitch. Uh, all right. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Why does my teeth look yellow? Is that from coffee? I need to do something about that. Like quick. It's not cool, yo. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that's not funny. That's not funny. Ha. Oh, I cut. I cut because I'm the cutting person. Like, I cut.